Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have Yolanda and she's writing a mystery number. We've got three clues here. We've got an eight in the millions, six in the thousands. Oh, check that out. There's a two in the hundredths, hundredths, so decimal, not hundreds. So let's make a place value chart here. And I'm going to need to go all the way to the hundredths. So I'm going to put my decimal right there. I'm going to make sure I've got enough room. All right, so I've got ones, tens, hundreds. I'm going to do comma. One thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. One millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Wow, that's a big number. So let's make sure I've got my place value here. I'm just going to kind of write it up on top and write the other numbers underneath. So I've got my tenths and I've got my hundredths. Those are the two decimal place values that we learn in the fourth grade. Now this is my ones family. So I'm just going to save a little bit of time here and I'm just going to do O-T-H. So it's either called the ones family or sometimes the ones period. But you're going to notice this pattern already. So one, ten, hundred, right? That's what the O-T-H stands for, ones, tens, hundreds. But then the pattern repeats right here. I've got my thousands family or my thousands period right here. And it's going to be that same pattern. One thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. I'm going to write it right here. This is my millions family or my millions period. One million, ten million, hundred million. And the pattern just goes on and on and on. So it's always going to be one, ten, hundred, one, ten, hundred. You just need to keep up with what family or period you are in. And so we've just come to the millions place here. So let's take a look at the clues they give us. Eight in the millions. Well, that's going to be one million. So I'm going to put an eight right there. And I've got six in the thousands. So that's going to be a six right there in the thousands place. And then two in the hundredths. All right, so that's it. My number needs to match up with that. So let's check each of our numbers, okay? So I'm just going to write them underneath here. I'm going to start with my decimal. That kind of anchors me. So I've got three zeros. This is A right here. I've got a three, four, six. Looking good so far. Oh, look at that. That eight is in the wrong spot. The six is good and the two is good, but they put the eight in the 10 million, so that's not it. I can already tell you that B is not gonna work. Look, they put the two in the wrong spot, but we'll just double check. Lots of zeros. I've got a six. Five, okay, so that six is good. And then 38, yeah, that eight is good. It's just that two is in the tenths rather than the hundredths. So that's not it. Let's check. All right, I've got a two in the correct spot. Got a whole bunch of zeros. Three, four, six, okay, so that six is in the right spot. And then 58. Hey, look at that. All right. It looks good. I've got my 8, my 6, and my 2 all in the right spot. So I'm pretty sure that's it. Let me double check my D. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that D. 2 is in the wrong spot. Oh, I have 6, 7, 4. That 6 is in the wrong spot. But the 8 is in the right spot. So it's got two digits in the wrong spot. So no on D. So my answer here is going to be C.